Now let's find the critical numbers for each function, starting with this one on the left. f of x is equal to 7x squared minus 3x. And remember that the critical numbers are where the derivative doesn't exist or it is equal to 0. So let's get started. What is f prime of x? Well, I can just bring down the 2. 7 times 2, 14x. Subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's it, 14x. The derivative of minus 3x is just minus 3. OK, so we need to make this equal to 0. So 14x is going to be equal to positive 3 after I add 3 to both sides of the equation. Then we can divide both sides by 14. And we have one critical number at 3 over 14 for the first function. There we go. That's where the derivative is equal to 0. All right, how about the second function? Now I will also look for f prime of x. Let's find the derivative of the function. And we have 1 third times the derivative of x cubed. I can bring the exponent down and multiply it. I'm going to have x squared after subtracting 1 from the exponent. Then the derivative of x squared is just 2x, and the derivative of x is just 1. Now 1 third times 3 is just equal to 1. So we're going to have f prime of x is equal to 1 times x squared, which is just x squared, plus 2x plus 1. Now since we're looking for the critical numbers, I can make the derivative, essentially f prime of x, equal to 0, and find the values for x where that happens. Now we can factor this. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is just x plus 1 squared. Then I can take the square root of both sides. The square root of x, or sorry, the square root of 0 is just 0. And the square root of x plus 1 is just x plus 1. Then I can subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And x is going to be equal to just 0 minus 1, negative 1. So again, there's only one critical number for this function. And that's it. So I just suggest continue and... Uh, for max and minimum problems, um, it's really important to get a lot of practice done to make sure that you can identify critical numbers, find the mi sorry, <laughs> find the maximums and the minimums, and um, and make sure that you have a good understanding of the relationship between the derivatives and the graphs. So good luck.